Hello you guys, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. This is Luminous Guide and I'm Sharon. Uh, so today's reading is a timeless reading. Whenever you click on it, that is your reading. And this reading is... Um, I was very confused. I did not know what should be the topic of this reading and all of a sudden I felt that it is a possibility that there are many who feel stuck in a certain situation in life at this point in time. So if you do feel stuck, uh, this is your reading where we are going to help you, I am, through the you know medium of tarot, is going to help you um, understand what you need to do next any guidance, any messages, anything that we get at this point in time, I'm going to share that with you, okay? Could be stuck in any scenario. So we will check that. Again, this is a general reading. So please take only what resonates. What does not resonate, leave it be. Do not try to push it and make it yours. And also, uh, you know, it's a possibility that the entire reading may not resonate, but they could be like, bits and pieces of the reading like for example um, you know the relationship situation could resonate or the career situation could resonate or an advice could resonate could be anything right so please take how it resonates that's my card okay just forgot to pull these cards so just take how it resonates if it does not resonate do not you know try to make it and my suggestion is try and watch the entire video so that you will know which bit of this video is resonating with you and for some it could be an entire video okay so before we begin i want to introduce this very very special deck to you guys okay um so a little tragic that happened with me last year uh, during christmas i wanted to buy myself a christmas gift and um Yes, I am one of those people who generally buys myself a gift. So I'm one of those people. Uh, I love to buy me a birthday gift. Sorry, my hair is disturbing. I love to buy me a birthday gift or a Christmas gift and things like that. I like to take myself out on a date. I like to spend a lot of me time and I like to make myself uh, feel special. It is not because I do not have people who do that. Yes, there are people who do that, but I appreciate my own company and I'm very comfortable with myself. And I think that this is how I have made myself to be over uh, a period of years. And I really enjoy my own company. I enjoy just sitting by my crystals. So I do collect a lot of crystals uh, just to let you know. Uh, this is pyrite that I have right now. Okay, you can always connect with me on contact.luminousguide at gmail.com if you wish to order such crystals. Okay, and then there is raw form of rose quartz here. Rose quartz has got to do with a lot of healing in relationship. It helps you open up your heart chakra. Uh, you know, so any relationship, but relationship with yourself is also a relationship. Let me just remind you that it's not necessary that you really need to have a romantic relationship, relationship with money, relationship with your own being, relationship with family, friends, could be anything and anyone. So Rose Quartz helps you with that. Uh, I have citrine here which I kept it on this little plant. This plant is very special to me. It was, it's gifted by my dear friend Adi and I have this here on my table all the time. Just reminds me about, and this is just not gifted. Like he just didn't purchase it. He put a lot of hard work in this where he ensured that, you know, he got the white pot because I like it. He, he put the soil himself and, you know, he decorated and he bought this plant where he knows that I can get a little careless at times for watering them. So uh, he was very mindful that, you know, these plants don't need regular mind, uh, watering. And so that's the kind of gift I really appreciate. And thank you, Adi, if you are listening and if you are following this video. Thank you. I really cherish this and keep this here. And this little rock citrine. Citrine is associated with opening up your solar plexus chakra. Uh, it helps you a lot with seeing that vibrant yellow, seeing the success, seeing the abundance, seeing the happiness, sunshine, because your solar plexus is known to be the brain of your um, spirituality and being. So uh, this really helps. You can sit on it and meditate. 
take a deep breath and talk about it and i just instantly feel with the spirit guides although we haven't started reading a lot of you right now are feeling stuck in career um so there are mixed messages that i'm already channeling for some of you i feel that your career is really going fine but you are not able to handle it you're getting overwhelmed you do not know uh, you all you often find yourselves in crossroads like a two of swords or two of pentacles situation if those cards come up i'll let you know what that is you know sometimes you feel like you're wearing a blindfold and you are there in between those two roads and you don't know which road to take so i'm getting that message immediately as i'm holding this lovely citrine in my hands right now and it's it's only up to you to make that decision you know uh, we can we as spirit guides can only guide you but it's only up to you to make the decision the universe whoever you believe in can only guide you but the see the journey is already set the destination is there the goal is there the path is only yours right that's the reason i'm going to talk about uh, this what happened to me in december and how these cards are related so just not deviating from there so this is citrine which i've kept here at the plant uh, you can keep it uh, even uh, you know around your money plants if you have money plants and then there are more i have amethyst somewhere i'm wearing these little bracelets and mukite okay so let's get back to this little story in december i wanted to purchase these same cards as a gift for myself and it was showing a one month wait eventually the cards never came and i had to cancel it and finally i got hold of this uh, now which is towards the end end of august 2022 and this was december 2021 there's a very profound uh, underlying message here if if you really think about it at the end of the day whatever you are destined to get you will receive it no matter what no matter what okay this is what i feel at this point in time i'm giving you an example of these tarot cards okay this was obviously supposed to be mine but it was just not the right time it was just not the right time so what do we learn from here that we need to have patience because whatever we want we visualize we manifest eventually that is going to happen but you have to let go this is what we don't do we don't let go uh, if you feel that you are trusting heavens universe your spirit guides to manifest a certain situation or a certain thing in your life then you got to stop stressing about it you got to absolutely this is a lesson for me that i have learned through this as well uh like for example if you wish to purchase a bungalow or a villa or a car or a certain dynamics in your life or something that takes some certain amount of money let's talk about tangible item here okay and uh you don't really need to work hard i'll 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 be honest with you you don't have to struggle you got to work hard that's a different story but you don't have to struggle so you already know that that's yours you want it no matter how hook or crook put it out there to the universe imagine and visualize yourself because i always imagined having these cards visualizing similarly many other things in life just to be honest and i know because i let go i just didn't stress about it any more after that i have purchased other tarot cards as well but i just stop stressing i let it be i just leave it be it's like if it's meant for mine it will be mine and the entire universe will not plot against you in fact they will aspire you to be your better self so if this is good for you you will receive it no matter what stop stressing is what i get from here what is meant to be yours you will receive it no matter what whether it's that relationship whether it's that career the job opportunity a business entrepreneurship a crystal that boy next door that girl there you saw katrina kaif whoever <laughs> okay take it how is it resonates so if it's meant to be yours you will receive it you got to stop stressing about it you need to have patience you got to let go only the journey is yours the destination is already set okay on that note let's open this box i have done that already uh, already so i did not i i'm not doing a flip through because i've already opened this box yesterday and i did a flip through video to be honest but that video there was some screw up and i could not upload it see 
so but i wanted to introduce these cards that i'm going to be using today they're really pretty they're called tarot of the divine and the reason i love these cards so much is because it's in, it's not like the i mean although there are four, four suits and stuff like that but it's not uh, the, the i'm a person who loves great imagery in, in cards because i'm a clairvoyant so i can explain imagery better and i connect like everybody has their own connection now. and being a psychic reader being an intuitive reader i connect in that manner and that form tarot is merely a tool for me to give you those guidances and answers and it's inspired by deities it's inspired by folklore it's inspired by fairy tales from around the world so i was very excited to know what's happening there in the world and these are the cards this is how it looks like very vibrant very colorful and let's see what comes up for you so i've taken a good 10 minutes to give you a little mental talk here to give you a little coffee chat without chat and good 10 minute to give you those words of wisdom and inspiration whatever i was channeling and let's start with the reading so if you feel stuck in a certain situation okay this reading is for you first and foremost let's pick from here here these are my affirmation and crystal healing cards let's see what situations you are in, you are stuck in okay because they 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 give you accuracy and also i'll pick more along the way because as tarot comes up we know more situation like we'll get in depth clarity and in depth information so be here with me do not leave this video and do like so far what you hear what you see okay my archangel michael all the archangels saints spirit guides all the deities ancestors blood light lineage and the universe thank you for being here and helping us to understand what we really need to know thank you for helping me be a medium through this channel to help the viewers who are here and thank you for these cards which are tools that help us understand better thank you so be it amen okay now i'm ready the first one is um gerosal quartz so it's from the quartz family it also looks like a moonstone okay and okay it says have you noticed that people and situations are reflecting your feelings or thoughts pay attention to the messages these mirrors provide so people that you deal with are mirrors they reflect your thoughts and i think it's a great message here that i received so it's a possibility because this happens a lot with career oriented people as well people in corporate people in non corporate people who deal with bosses and leaders okay you may feel that there are some some of them who come across really nice human beings to you gentle and loving because i think that's how you think of them and there are some people who are really a holes because that is how you think of them as people they may be very different but this is the personality that they bring on the table when you talk to them so you may feel like am i that so, so now thinking about it you think i'm not that shitty i'm great so what is the other way we can do is it says take stock of what work you need to do to improve your self awareness and personal growth because people are going to be people but when we start visualizing them or we start thinking of them in a certain way we are giving more energy to them and i have done that and i do that till today i'm telling you so this is like a great lesson where you have to observe who they are how they are with you and stop giving that energy okay because you're only amplifying that situation okay so if you feel stuck in a situation like that where you feel that there are people who are really tough to you okay you need to stop giving that energy to them because it's better to walk away from trauma than create drama write that down <laughs> better to walk like you want drama that that is entertaining that gives you fun not mentally screwing up your happiness then we have hockey mer diamond i'm just saying the crystals which ever come up so if you have crystals okay now um this is something that's talking about if you feel st 
stuck post watching a dream so are you able to recall your dream because uh, there is a way that the universe and spirits talk to you through your dream through your because that's where it's all stored in your subconscious mind and you see it right so take time before going to sleep to form that intention okay to remember your dreams record them when you wake up and use them for contemplation okay use them for your thoughts use them for contemplation dreams are powerful tools like i said of self healing as well uh, personal awareness and spiritual growth so that is another thing situations that if you're getting stuck in okay these are just normal situations they're going to go in depth for more this is going to be a big reading okay like a lengthy reading so grab a cup of coffee or tea or herbal tea or whatever that your your choice of beverage and we will do this in depth reading it's required i think it's high time oh my god we have the red tiger's eye so this is for someone really specific i'm wearing a red tiger i'm i'm not wearing a red tiger but i'm just wearing a tiger's eye a tiger the reason it's called tiger's eye um this is a very very powerful stone okay the reason it's called tiger's eye because it looks like the tiger's eye that's the reason why it's called this this stone this crystal is called the tiger's eye and this is a great stone when it comes when you need motivation so it's see up confidence motivation all of that so it says do you need some motivation do you find your mind wandering when you are trying to stay focused and this happens a lot when you are dealing with business situations when you are dealing with career oriented situation when there are meetings it does happen a lot believe you me for a lot of people okay where and there is somebody who's presenting explaining or even say for example you are situated in some in front of somebody and you've thought about topic a but you know uh, slowly you've deviated and then you don't know how to get back to that topic a so that happens a lot in presentation as well if so you need to find your passion and begin experiencing the rewards that come with living it okay so this is so beautiful so find like say for example you're going for a proposal or something like that find your passion in that find where are you in that presentation okay that is something that will help you motivate your entire pitch okay that's because when you're living it you're seeing that this is coming into fruition that's why okay do what you love prosperity is yours so tiger's eye is always telling you that the prosperity is yours do what you love but you must take action so tiger's eye is a beautiful beautiful stone that helps you with your motivation and all of that okay now let's go to tarot and check in detail what other information that we're getting this beautiful freshly printed tarot of the divine tarot i i like the name divine somehow it just feels very divine goddess divine god divinely situated <laughs> divinely guided <clears throat> okay i have to shuffle a little more all that done that earlier i have used these cards i have cleansed them already so don't worry we are in safe hands Okay. I have shuffled them thoroughly when it came. Cleanse them. All of that is done. All right. Let's check. Okay, this wants to flip, which is the lovers. Look at this pretty picture. Do you feel some of us do feel that I'm dealing with the beast or I'm dealing with the beauty like it's a, it's like it's a perfect beauty and the beast combination you and your lover not necessarily I'm saying the outer look the inner look as well like you know we feel like okay each other is beauty and the beast it's like the story of beauty and the beast how much you can love each other how much you are fond of each other how much you cherish each other and how much you feel like okay maybe i am the wrong one in this person's life right sometimes you feel like that but you don't really realize that you two are perfect you two are made for each other you two are soul mates you two are two twin flames you two are beauty and the beast situation it's a possibility as well because that's how much the beast loved this beauty so if you feel stuck in that situation don't don't okay this is a general reading though but don't but since the lovers card here 
I feel that some of you are feeling pain or stuck in a situation of love. Number six could be significant. Five plus one is six. And um, let's check this. We also, and you know, if, if I talk about the beast situation, we all have a beast in us. We all have something beautiful in us and we all have something that needs to be tamed. Okay, needs to be tamed is what I get the message here from spirit. Thank you, spirit. What is it that needs to be tamed, which is overwhelming or it is over amplifying a situation that is not right for both the parties? Okay. The temperance. Oh my Jesus Lord. Look at this beautiful card. The temperance card is the patience and the balance card for me. And just going back to the little monologue I gave you. Don't we need patience? Because what is yours? Who is yours? Eventually, eventually it's going to be he or she is going to be yours. And look at this major arcana card. So it's talking about temperance. It's talking about what you need is a perfect balance in your relationship. So if you, at this point in time, feel stuck in your relationship, what you really need is balance. And both are major arcana cards. So this is, this is a major situation that I'm drawn to at this point in time, which is saying that, which is saying that you guys need to have Patience with each other as well. Maybe your situation and this person that you're dealing with, your divine masculine or your divine feminine, whoever is the person that you're dealing with, both of you have a journey that has not been completed. You both are on individual life paths and individual journey to ensure that it merges, the road merges, okay, and you become one. In any way, I'm not talking about one only in a sexual matter or one as as say you know getting married or engaged no i'm not talking about that being one as in having the mind body and soul situation in one where we uh, are complementing each other we are going to a commitment where we feel like okay now we need each other as partners like in that situation for some okay Number 14 could be significant. 4 plus 1 is 5. So your life path could be a number 5. And this person's life path number could be number 6. It's a possibility. Okay. You really need the temperance. You really need to balance the situation or each other out. At the bottom of the deck is the king of coins. Okay. The king of coins here with the tortoise turtle and the tree and the king so the king of coins is king of pentacles king of pentacles does not live paycheck to paycheck is what i keep giving as an example all the time they are generally the king of treasure people this is a king who is well uh, secured okay but if i take a look at this tortoise here i see that baby steps is what is happening it's a possibility okay so you are, you are heading towards money, not like the other uh, cards that I generally pick for tarot. I'm talking about this in specific. I feel like you're going a little slow. Maybe that could be a factor, which is also hampering your relationship, wherein both of you are trying to make your money, but things are going slow. And post-COVID, a lot of situation has gone slow. If this is your situation, okay? If this is your situation, we're going to pull cards for other situation, but this could be possibly a situation of someone who is really wanting this one person in his or her life you guys feel that you are a perfect you are perfect like for each other and to each other but what is going is something that is off balance whatever is off balance only both of you will know what is off balance the situation okay and at the bottom of the deck is king of coins so i see that both of you are pretty secured individuals but you're just going slow towards this entire relationship okay so if that is your situation this is for you so the guidance and definitely major arcana cards let's check another situation so i'm taking up i'm picking up a couple of situations rather than pick a card and all that just doing a real live reading here which you could see which is your situation hence i suggested please be there for the entire video so that 
you know what's happening. Okay, this card came up, which says the world card, beautiful, okay, we are getting a lot of major organa cards, I'm going to talk about this shortly, 21, 2 plus 1 is 3, and again I'm getting a situation of, look at this, this can easy, easily qualify to be the lover's card, I think again it's got to do something with relationship, maybe it's a long distance relationship that you guys are into, and things are not materializing, and the high priestess, okay major arcana card what you need to do again if it's a situation so i'm just picking one card of the situation and one card as an advice at the back of the deck we have the king of wands what a beautiful message we had king of pentacles earlier on uh, coins and now king of wands look here and i'm going to pick one more situation and suggestion so totally there are three situation and suggestion maybe i can put i don't know let's see let's see let's see so here i'm getting the message again this has got something to do with with the relationship and romance i don't know why or something to do with a long distance information both have to finish a karmic cycle which is not yet over you're working on that but i see that you both are absolutely passionately in love with each other there's a lot of passion however the high priestess says that somebody is mute at this point in time somebody is really not communicating Okay, so both of you need to sit down and communicate and then move on from there, A. Secondly, go with your gut feeling, go with your intuition, go with what you feel. Get your receipts, get matters right, do a little more research about this, this, this entire relationship that you have, which is long distance, okay, with you and your person. Or if you take it career-wise also, there is something that is still waiting, it's not materialized, it's in process. You got to work on it without telling people okay act upon your intuition if this is your career situation let's take it that way because i see whatever this is okay which needs to get over in a karmic cycle which is your career your, your entrepreneurship your business that you have visualized as a goal which is going to be happening shortly in a span of months or year whatever like let's not take years let's take in a span of months from now that you're reading this it is something that you could be dealing with national, international, it doesn't matter. You're very passionate about it. You see, you see yourself in it, in this situation. You see yourself absolutely in this situation. Okay? You're very, very passionate. You have this fire in your pit. But you got to keep quiet. You got to be intuitive about it. And you got to work accordingly. There will be huddles. Lot of huddles. People are going to say, no, this is not right for you. I'm getting that. I'm hearing that. If, especially if it's of career. People are going to say, no, I don't like where you're going. I don't know. I, I don't think so. Whatever. They have their reasons. But you got to know what is right for you and make a decision accordingly because you sound very passionate about this. Okay. Now, since we've got two situations of relationship, let's take one for and a little bit of career. Let me just check if there is another career coming or this will be like a stuck situation for relationships. I don't know whatever spirit wants to guide us with okay it's, it's it's not my thing okay three cards are come in my hand anyway so i'm going to take all these three the first one says ten of swords okay the second one says seven of coins third one says the emperor beautiful okay at the back of the deck page of cups right off the bat if this is your situation which is absolutely career related situation there is a lot of intellect you require at this point in time you need to use here this muscle this muscle up here is extremely imperative and important for you okay to use you may be feeling that you are stuck you may be feeling cheated you may be feeling backstabbed you may be feeling hurt and humiliated in your career situation but the guidance here is seven of coins that means you're a hard worker you do your do you work your way out because the emperor says if the things are not happening the way you had projected it sometimes you got to change the situation in bringing yourself up there okay in showing them who you are but intellectually is what i get you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. 
number four could be imperative number seven could be imperative number ten could be imperative okay these numbers i'm giving you the emperor is somebody who is ready like here i find this person ready wearing his guards okay his or her guards exactly knows what the like so for example if some you've taken a step somebody screws your step you exactly know what to do next you did again you exactly even know what to do next without getting tired and it's a major arcana card that says this is a major decision time for you whether you want to be in the situation or you don't want to be in the situation because people are screwing your head more than anything is what i get at this point in time because you're a hard worker work on your bit don't leave what you're working but work intellectually is the message that i get for those in career here okay and the page of cups says that sweet message is coming along the way so just hold on to the emperor in you hold on to the hard work in you and go on i'm going to just take one more situation and see because there's lots so if you feel stuck at career where you've not been heard you gotta start wearing your guard you gotta be intellectual stop like oh you did this i did this i don't know no, stop it like you're not immature imbecile persons do people do that don't do that like stop defending yourself you don't need to defend yourself in front of idiots is what i'm getting at this point in time thank you spirit that may sound harsh but you know okay next situation knight of wands but let me complete that you do not need to defend yourself in front of idiots if somebody says like it's day it's hot it's noon and sun's shining bright on your head and a foolish person says no i can see stars right now you are stupid you can't see stars because you are so low lying fruit you say yes i agree and walk away you don't want to give your energy to stupid people you can't explain to somebody like dude you're sweating no you can't do that okay knight of wands and ace of wands fire at the back of the deck we have queen of wands fiery <laughs> and at the back post that we have four of wands fire fire fiery fieriest i don't know what you want to say that okay if you feel stuck again in career where you're not able to move on okay you're not able to bring in the magic on the table you're not able to bring the fire on the table you got to draw your own magic okay because with the ace of wands and the queen of wands i see there is an and the knight of wands okay first of all ace of wands i see there is a new beginning happening for you in your career so this is absolutely for somebody who wants to join a new job new new career related it's a big go ahead from universe okay the universe is saying go ahead with this decision again take how it resonates because it's a general reading you want to know more about it you can get into a personal reading with me and the queen of wands is your energy this queen of wands i see it as your energy you are somebody who's fiery who's passionate maybe a leo sagittarius possibility i'm not sure um but you know with this knight of wands with this 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 particular animal like goat ram kind of situation and you know she is uh, here holding like you know i get this um i get this message that says uh, holding bull by the horn okay and this is um this is this message absolutely applies to somebody who's a taurian though because they are bulls and they exactly know how to hold the other fellow bulls by the horn like don't mess with me but that's that's that only happens when our fellow taurians stop feeling vulnerable stop feeling like okay enough is enough now i care for myself i'm going to do what is good for me so i'm going to hold the bull by the horn and say you know stop attacking me i'm going to do that okay i'm going to make a move or take this to the next level where i feel it's good for me you can stop being there in my life altogether i don't care that's one message that i got thank you spirits the other thing that i see is that uh which i already told you there is an absolute new beginning for you at the horizon okay this beginning is going to bring in a lot of just not subjective but objective value also in your life you're going to gain a lot monetary wise 
although there are no pentacles and this beginning is going to feel like a perfect marriage you know like that situation like you've met the like you've you've met the right career okay i get that situation for you guys uh like a perfect uh, marriage like a perfect thing that's happened in your life but it's not easy there are a lot of people who are going to be objecting to this because those people who are objecting to this have i think they have very childlike energy around you like or they think you are just a child or doesn't the, you okay the overall message that i get right now is what needs to be put here is maturity on the table when you have this discussion when you think discussion with yourself as well not just with other people when you talk about this in career wise although i see all good cards here the situation that is stuck over here i feel is that you know what is right for you you know that you're on the right path but you're not able to you know put conviction on the table either to yourself or to others there is a new beginning and this new beginning is going to bringing the passion the fire which is it's going to ignite that within you okay it's going to be a perfect marriage it's going to be like a perfect situation for you this is exactly what you wanted for years and years to come okay you got to just go for it you got to go for it you got to be the queen who wears these uh, you know fire and passion and all of that in you since this queen of wands here gives me a very tribal feeling it's a very bohemian situation okay uh, yes it's hawaiian i just wanted to check what what folklore it's coming from it's hawaiian east it's hawaiian and it's yeah okay it's hawaiian and she is the volcano goddess priest so what you need to do is bring a lot of self confidence on the table you know you need to bring that that optimism somewhere down the line you've lost that optimism you need to bring your independence as well here okay where you've lost it because there is a new hard new beginning here like the message cannot be better than this okay so these are all the situations you guys okay which is so beautiful i love these cards i'm going to use this more however i'm going to just check with moonology it's going to be a huge reading like i said moonology if there is any message that we're getting here and with the last uh, situation i just felt that somebody needs to open up their root chakra and get into a lot of grounding energy hmm you're all over the place your mind is all over the place is what i get it with this knight of wands your mind is all over the place although it's got not the card says nothing about mind i am getting that message that your mind is all over the place you're indecisive yes you're indecisive your mind is you have a wondrous mind at this point in time yeah the message is communication is the key communicate communication is the key new moon in gemini communication is the key to everything my friend uh in hindi we say na baat karne se hi baat banti hai baat banana hai to baat karo kaise baat karna now that is something that you got to figure out like you got to read the room is what i'm getting your mind is all over the place okay communication is the key and the other one overall message oh my god these cards are so jumpy today are you crazy why are you feeling stuck you're fine like all of you who who are watching this at this point in time it does not matter what situation you're stuck in but this whole situation is just now it's not going to remain this way for a very long time okay you will be moving on if you're not able to move from a stuck situation there's one thing that i would advise you to do okay wherever you are in your house your home wherever just choose a place with a tile like a block how do you see the floor right a block like you know the floorings they have many blocks right how do you the tile situation stand there okay stand there and visualize the stuck situation stand there and visualize your present situation could be anything leave the reading just just leave it be just forget it okay forget about the reading my hair looks nice okay stand there 
and visualize your stuck situation okay after you do that the next block the next block think that is the situation that you want to be in because you don't want to be in the stuck situation you want to be in that situation right visualize that situation still standing in the same block then jump to that situation feel that that you're living it feel that on the next block see yourself like that and kick that bloody block that you were standing in earlier just like stamp it from your foot and say okay get out and with now you're in the new situation and stop thinking about the old one try this okay try this i do these silly things believe you me i'm all about these silly things which is amazingly it, it like gives me some sort of catharsis at times okay to be silly it's therapeutic and it really helps try that try it and let me know see because the energy is now gaining momentum because automatically when i was talking to you guys didn't you start this visualization activity don't you dare lie and now the situation that you want to be in the happy situation is already mo gaining momentum dude that's your reading don't feel stuck anymore okay i love you guys till we meet again bye